Okay, Alan, so yes. what have you got here? Okay, you know what? You know I you like get, hatches, right? You get the practical, you get the sensible, and you get the stupid. Guess which one this is? Well, you're driving it, so it's practical and sensible. Nah, it's not. You know why it's not? Yeah, yeah, it's the bath. Because look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was thinking about it. The bath logo is the scorpion. Yes. Geez, does this thing have a sting in the tail? Oh. Really? Yeah. Okay, so show look me. at this little thing. No, I can see look. vented and drilled brakes. I mean, it's, yes. it's I mean, look at that. It's, it's massive Brembo calipers over yeah, there. Yeah. Seventeen-inch alloys yeah. on a. Yeah. I mean, this is a little thing. Yeah. It's impractical. It's silly, but oh, is it fun? Yeah. Is it fun? How many kilowatts? One hundred and twenty-five kilowatts. Two fifteen newton meters of torque. Okay. Five-speed manual. Five-speed manual. Yeah. You do get an auto version as well. So. But yeah. Alan. Yes. Do you know what I've got? What have you got? Come have a look here. What have you got? <laughs> You've got a fossil. <laughs> this is a hot hatch. <laughs> well, it was once. It's a very dirty hot hatch. It's extremely dirty. It is 2004. Oh my goodness. And it is an MGZR. I wasn't even born then, was I? <laughs> it is a five speed manual. Yes. With 120 kilowatts. Okay. And how many Newton meters did you have? 250. I've got more. How many? I don't know. Now you see, you're probably talking <laughs> rubbish. But what is probably really interesting, what is really interesting is that this one, which is a lot bigger than mine, weighs 830 kilos. 830 kilograms. Mine weighs just over a thousand. A thousand and fifty, I think yeah. you'll find. That is a 250 kilogram advantage yeah. To the MG. Um, this could I do be have, interesting. I do have 20 years of... Uh, of, of abuse of, from of, Leadfoot. Of, of, no, I've only had it of, for a little while. Um, it well, has done 190,000 kilometers. Okay, this has done 2,000. And it has... It still doesn't use any oil. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how many horsepowers have run away in those 20 years. That would be an interesting one. And let's just go and have a little bit of fun and see We're what We're going to go and play with it a bit. Okay, so Leadfoot has challenged me here. He's in his 20-odd-year-old MG ZR160. I'm in the Abarth 595. And he thinks he can beat me in a robot dice. So we'll see exactly what's going to really, really happen in a couple of seconds. Because now we will just work this out. All right, so we're ready to go. We're ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> what he does not know is that I've got a turbo. He doesn't have a turbo. I've left him standing miles and miles behind me. <laughs> Let's have a bit of a post-mortem there, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was thinking about it. You know, yeah. the MG's got three things going for it. Yeah. A vastly superior driver, obviously. <laughs> no comment. 20, 20 years age. Right, which yeah. means that for your modern thing, you can just go into a Fiat dealership and buy one straight away. Well, look, hang on. But also, just remember, mine, the engine isn't even loosened up yet. Oh, excuses start already. Okay, but hang on. I've got a turbo. You've got a turbo. I tell you what, down at yeah. the coast, I will mm -hmm. drill you second to that. But yes. I was I was struggling with the clutch, I'll be honest. You, I you was not down, getting it. I was bogging down. Three out of the four yeah, times. Yeah. <laughs> and the one time but, you didn't. It was. I left you standing. I left you standing the one calling. time I got my start right. Calling. And one of the other times. Actually, I bogged down on that start as well. <laughs> one of the other times, you got away ahead of me, and boy, did I catch you and fly past you. You did not. It's on you video. Did not. Oh, yes, I did. With this oh, yes, I did. Speck in my mirrors, and eventually you caught up, and uh, then I left. I, uh, as, as you caught up, I left. But the, you know what? Look, first of all, please what's interesting is don't. Don't copy us and do this on public roads. Okay, number one. All right? Please. But the, the bottom line being, they're both a lot of fun. You didn't have it all your own way. They're both a lot of fun. I right? actually expected it not to be as close as it was. So I must be honest. Yeah. I no, it was going really? To be one horse race. Yeah. No, no, well, I mean, your horse bolted. Uh, if you're looking for a car that's fun. Oh, absolutely. That, 
I don't even want to tell you what my range to empty on my fuel gauge was showing me while we were doing this. <laughs> <laughs> There is a price to pay. There is a price to pay. There is a price but, to pay. I'm, I, you know, it would be very cool now to get yeah. it onto a proper cart handling track, something like a oh, Red Star. Oh, yeah. Whatever oh it yeah, is. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, mm. and, yeah. And, do, yeah. and do a comparison. There, I think the bath will come into its own. I think it's the way it's such a short little wheelbase. And also, it's got the Coney shocks, by the way, and a few other things. Uh, yeah, I think it'll, yeah. I think it'll make yours look a bit. That would be the 20 that years of progress. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And the turbo as well. Just for example, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, which has just full up. No, it was fine. It was fine. Um, it, was, it was us being silly. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm yeah. happy. By the way, what does yours cost? Uh, 580. Oh, 28 grand. Yeah, but <laughs> in today's money? <laughs> 28 grand. No, 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 no. That's what I'm hey, going for. I'm not arguing that, but I'm saying oh, if you had to go day. to yeah, 2004, yeah. what did an equivalent Fiat cost in 2004? 28 right. <laughs> okay, you see what I mean? Right. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. All right. That was fun. Fun. Cool. Bit of entertainment. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. That's what counts. See you next time. Absolutely.